Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the arsenite ion. So here we go. Um, the formula is going to be ASO3 with a negative 3 charge. Okay, and that's going to give us um, 5 valent electrons from the arsenic plus 3 oxygens, each with 6 valent electrons plus 3 more electrons for the minus 3 charge for a total of 26 valent electrons okay and we can go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8 which is 24 in this case giving us two electrons remaining and you, uh, d divide that by 2 and that gives us one non-bonding pair and since 24 is equal to 8 times 3 that means that this structure is going to be an AX3 E1 structure meaning that there is a central atom surrounded by three peripheral atoms and the central atom has one non-bonding pair of electrons on it okay so let's go ahead and draw this structure so we have the arsenic in the center surrounded by the three oxygens we can go ahead and single bond all the oxygens to the arsenic and then fill in the octets for each of the surrounding oxygens so now all of those have eight electrons okay and now we still have to add on this non-bonding pair of electrons here. So let's just put that right here on the lower end of the arsenic. All right. So that should be our final structure. But then also don't forget to add on your brackets. And that's a 3 minus because this is an ion. And when you draw the Lewis dot structures for ions, you have to put these brackets around and list the charge up top. Okay. So let's go ahead and verify that, that this is correct by uh, calculating the formal charges. So the formal charge on the arsenic is going to be equal to the five valent electrons brought in minus one, two, three bonds minus one, two non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on each of the oxygens. And if you notice, all of these oxygens have the same setup with a single bond and the six non-bonding electrons, so all of their formal charges will be equal. So this is going to be the six valence brought in for each oxygen minus the single bond on each oxygen minus the six non-bonding electrons for each one for a formal charge of minus one. And we multiply that times three because there are one, two, three of them. We add all these up, that gives us an overall formal charge of negative three which is what we need because the charge on this ion is minus three. All right, so that matches up and that's what you need. Now, in terms of shape, with the AX3E1 type of structure, you're gonna get a shape that is called trigonal pyramidal. Okay, and when you have the trigonal pyramidal shape, the bond angle is going to be approximately 107 degrees all right in terms of hybridization when uh, looking at the central arsenic here you have one two three four electron groups or potential bonding sites so that means we need four hybrid orbitals so that's going to give us an sp3 hybrid so we have one s three p's for a total of four orbitals to match up with the four electron groups and because of this non-bonding pair of electrons on top here, that is going to make this a polar ion. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.